How the hell are you, people? Wow, it's a bright and sunny day today. It's uh, one of them days you got to get out and get some adulting done, I guess you'd say. Um, wife had chemo yesterday, so she had a scan for her brain. Because she lost consciousness the other day walking down the hallway. But that's neither here. She's doing good. She's in good spirits. The uh, really won't kick in until Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday. She feels like good or crap. So Saturdays aren't too bad. The chemicals really hadn't started beating her up. Her her uh, her levels, her blood levels were not great this go around so her platelet count was kind of down plus her uh, white blood count was okay but it wasn't great as far as it, to go along with her, her bloodlets her, her platelets so one fight infection and one moves oxygen so you gotta have to maintain a, a happy medium in that respect so she is hanging in there. They only gave her half a dose yesterday instead of a full dose of the chemo that she normally gets because of her. her. But that's normal, they say, because just just how much she's had now. So that's what the doctor does. He just regulates the stuff as she goes. So she's doing all right. She's going to make it. I'm hanging in there, feeling better. Got to get in my mind. I got to get this weight off because I'm heavy. You're than what I want to be. The last time I stepped on the scale the other day when I had to go to the doctor for a sciatic nerve was 357 pounds. Which I can tell you is not alcohol, not liquor. It's food. Because I have a condition that most folks have and no, I ain't been conditioned by a doctor. I just know I do it. Or diagnosed by doctors. I stress eat like crazy. And all the stress I've been under. I have uh, put this weight that I had gotten off at one point. But a lot of it has to do is a mental thing. And mentally, <laughs> my mind's been shot. So we're going to make it. We're going to rebound back. I got to get the weight off because it helps my breath, helps me breathe. My family, my, my, my family has a long history of, of uh, a rare lung disease. So it's already claimed my brother, my mother, and I have a middle brother that has it. And uh, I'm scared to death of getting it. But I know that getting the weight off and staying active is a is a plus is all a very big plus so and revert the the disease I'm referring to is idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis so if you don't know what that is look it up IPF is a booger of freaking disease there's only two drugs in which have been allotted to for this disease that have come on the market and that come on in 2014 I think but uh, it's a booger of a freaking disease <clears throat> my, my older brother he pretty much coughed himself to death yeah I, you heard me right he coughed until he, until, he, until he started coughing up blood. He just destroyed his lungs. He coughed so long. And we're not talking about months. We're talking about months, months, months. Like damn near a year. So I don't play when it comes to coughs at all. But uh, just want to give some update, give some thought. Uh, I listen to a lot of. Uh, try to listen to a lot of uh, Gary Vanderchuk. I don't know if y'all ever listened to him, but he does, He is big on social media as far as using it. 
and everything. And I guess the motivating factor of staying motivated and keeping your con getting your content out there, which is what I try to do. Not very good at it, but uh, it's a good way to keep me keep my head on the right path and keep my mind going straight. So I'll keep doing it because that's what I enjoy doing. All right, so this is gonna be short and sweet. Just wanted to give you an update. More to come. I might do a cooking video tonight. My wife wants salmon, so we'll see how that one works out. I've never tried to do one. A cooking video, that is. Now I'm pretty good at it, so. Y'all have a great and lovely day.